Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. We're seeing a line of showers and storms developing mainly south of I-70 over in our Illinois counties this morning. We've been tracking this in ever since it was over in Effingham, moving off to the east throughout the course of the morning hours so far today. Now, this is not a severe line of storms, but still packing a bit of a punch with some very heavy rain, perhaps some gusty winds embedded within here. Whenever you see the yellows and even the oranges on the radar, that's a good indicator that there is some very heavy rain associated with this. This uh, rainfall rate, especially where you see those reds showing up anywhere from one inch to an inch and a half per hour. We'll put the radar into motion over the past several hours. You can definitely tell the track of this is from the west off to the east, just now getting ready to make its way into Crawford County, down into Lawrence County, Illinois, Robinson and Sumner. Not quite under that uh, rain just yet, but it is going to be headed into your neighborhoods here within the next uh, few minutes or so, continuing to track off to the east eventually into our Indiana counties within the next hour or so. Temperatures have held steady in the 70s. It's been very muggy warm through the overnight because of the clouds that have been in place. 70 degrees over in Mattoon, 73 in Terre Haute, 73 in Linton and Vincennes, also 73 degrees. Now this is all associated with a larger weather system. Actually pretty uncommon for this time of year to get a system that sets up as distinct as this one does. This is where that cold front is situated at this point, still back to our west, not set to move through through until this evening. So all of this rain that's moving through this morning, it is out ahead of that main area, that main line of storms that's still set to move through later this evening. So we are in store for a bit of a rocky day overall as thunderstorms stay pretty likely from start to finish. Here's 7 a.m. this morning. Again, that line will move on through and then we'll start to see some more pop up type thunderstorms into the afternoon hours. We'll start to heat things back up. It's going to fuel some of these thunderstorms. Here's noon today and then for the rest of our afternoon. There will be some breaks from the rain activity, so we'll go with that scattered chance of those storms by 10 o'clock tonight. That's when it looks like that main line is going to push through. So after 10 o'clock, through the overnight, you certainly see how quickly that drier air works its way in. So come Thursday and for the rest of the week, we are looking at improving conditions. Actually going to have a bit of a fall like feel to the air once the system does move through. Rainfall expected to top out near eight tenths of an inch. That's here in Terre Haute through tomorrow morning. So for the next 24 hours or so, everyone going to be in that half inch to one inch range. We could see some higher amounts underneath some of those thunderstorms, especially where you get those heavier storms setting up. So just keep that in mind. Not expecting widespread flooding with this, but isolated areas, the ponding on the sides of roadway is certainly a possibility. So your forecast for today, again, keep that umbrella handy. Keep an eye on the sky as some stronger storms are expected, maybe even an isolated severe storm or two, but not going to be a severe weather outbreak for us here locally today. 72 at 8 a.m. back to 78 by noon, eventually near 80 as we head to that four o'clock hour and forecast highs today range from the upper 70s into the lower 80s and overnight we are talking some relief from those temperatures as we are set to drop back into the upper 50s for overnight lows. The cooler air arriving on the back side of that frontal system putting us into our Thursday here 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. rather heading through the evening. We are looking at some of those drier conditions to stick with us. Clear skies, smooth sailing for the rest of the week. So again, just keep an eye on the sky for today as some scattered storms are possible. Some could be on the strong side. High temperature near 80. Plenty of sunshine returning Thursday, Friday and Saturday as we head into the weekend and notice those temperatures do stay a little cooler for us. Humidity is going to be down as well as those dew points are set to drop. So some comfortable days lie ahead after we get through today's storms.